Hello guys, welcome back. We're back working on the Land Rover series. I took a year off to work on my son's 73 Super Beetle. I'll put a picture of it here. And we got that on the road. Did a lot of welding and rebuilding from the ground up. So that's on the road. So now I can get back to get into the series. So today we're gonna start it up and get it running and put it back into the garage so we can do some work on it. One thing will be to uh, rebuild the diff or find a replacement for the rear diff because that's broken and work on the timing chain because if you looked at my previous videos it's very under power so I'm thinking the timing chain is off so we'll tear that apart in another video and also the rear diff will be in another video but this video is going to be the startup. I haven't started it for about six weeks eight weeks maybe uh, and it, it started up surprisingly for even for sitting for a year so all during winter so let's give it a try and we'll see if she starts up so first thing to do is check to see if anything's living inside the engine compartment before testing it and starting it and then uh, seeing if the battery's connected so the next thing I'm gonna do is fire up the glow plugs and give her a try All right, so she started up actually relatively easy. I let the glow plugs warm up and cranked her over for a little while. But you can still see it's doing the poof that it did before. But I'm not too worried about that. That's just diesel there. So there's grass has been growing up around it and everything. And I did the, the driveway uh, shuffle here. So now we're wide open to go put it up into the garage. So. Let's see if she'll move from this spot. Of course, as soon as I start doing it, it starts raining. Like I said, the rear differential is broken. So as you hear me driving along, you'll hear the banging and the clanking of the broken diff in the back. The axles aren't broken, it's just the diff. The ring and pinion of the diff. Also, I have, the, have it locked in four wheel low, low range. So the truck's actually driving just by its front wheels. It's not even driving the back wheels at all. So that's another reason why it makes it kind of hard to get it into the garage.
So we have it up here in the garage ready to go in, but the roof is too high for my tiny garage. So this is when we start airing down the tires. So I'll go, what I'd have been doing is taking this, it's an old valve cap or whatever, take out the valve. Just start airing down. Oh, the cobwebs blowing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start airing these down. So that's about how flat that I make them to fit into the garage. Pretty flat. So the big old girl's in here, she's a turd. She's a big pain in the butt to get into this garage with it being so short up on top. So you saw the tires are flat. I had to use the floor jack to lift it up and push it this way, myself pushing it that way, because I went in and out, in and out, but the flat tires, let's go walk over. They're freaking buckled into each other. Then with the rear diff, the rear diff being a real pain in the butt right there. I think the wheel, this wheel was locking up and pushing the whole truck this way. I was trying to go forward and came back and in, but every time I did, the wheel locked up and kind of pushed it over this way. So it was almost hitting the mini bike over here. So I had to f jack it up and move it, floor it over, move it over back and forward. So now she's in there. So, the old girl's in there, still fired right up, right away, pretty fast with the key, but I don't know if the charging system's charging right, because the battery's still kind of weak and everything, but we'll see how, maybe we'll take a test on that too, because I made a video about an alternator swap, but I think there may be something wrong with the alternator, but that might be another video, we'll do another one on that, so recap. The girl's in here. She's ready to go. So the first thing, I'll probably work on the differential in the back so I can take that out, clean it up, and get a replacement one. And I already have one lined up for a replacement rear one diff. 
but we may try to rebuild it too but that might be a future one too but these are all future videos the rear axle is getting fixed timing belt that's going to be done not timing belt timing chain we're going to take that apart doing some measurements check out some parts and see what's going on with the timing on the engine i still don't think it's advanced it won't let me advance the timing anymore so she's weak so after a big pain in the butt she's now in the garage so thank you for watching like and subscribing you guys are awesome stay awesome uh, stay tuned for some new fresh videos on this thank you very much bye bye